Good things that come in tubes. Toothpaste. Paint. Mayonnaise. Fish eggs. Prawn cheese? <laughs> what? Mackerel and tomato? In a tube? And for those last few, you can thank Sweden. Thanks a lot. In Sweden, it's not uncommon to get your daily sustenance from a tube. It is something very Swedish, but I think many Swedes don't really realize that it's something unique. My name is Carla Marie Paredes. I am originally from the Philippines, but I am based in Sweden. I've been in Sweden since 2012. Carla is fascinated by Sweden's food in tubes, so much so that she actually wrote her master's thesis on it. <laughs> I wrote 65 pages of, yeah. So some of these products you can use on a sandwich. These are caviar and the spreadable cheese and pâtés. You have another category which is more for dressings and condiments, mayonnaise or like hamburger dressing. And then you also have purees like tomato puree which you can use for cooking. But for the most popular way to eat food from a tube, you need your bread, cracker, or as the Swedes call it, Knäcke bröd. Perfect. Now you need a topping. What about the king of food tubes? Kallis caviar. It's made from salted or smoked cod roe. Or what about a cheese in a tube? Bacon cheese? Shrimp and crayfish cheese? Blue cheese with pear? Yeah, there's a lot. You would definitely also find this, you know, in Denmark, in Norway, in Finland, in Germany. But I'm not sure if it's as big in those countries as here in Sweden. They all look delicious, but what I don't understand is why the tubes? I would say maybe it's a culture of practicality and functionality. It's very convenient, it's very clean, you know, it's easy to dose the product. All Swedes kind of have their own way of emptying it as much as they can. There are some like contraptions that you can use to like fold it somehow. So that you put it here and then you just roll it and try to squeeze everything out of it. Okay, so have the Swedes won you over? I I'm not Swedish, so this was something that it was like acquired taste in a way. I do have like bacon cheese, uh, but it's not really something that I eat often, it's more like it's in my fridge. This is the only flavor of spreadable cheese that I actually really eat. You know what? I think if anything can get me into food tubes, it's probably bacon. Thanks, Carla, and happy eating. Hey, everybody. My name is Drew Beebe, and I'm here in my terrible home studio that I've made during quarantine. And I wanted to tell you about our new podcast called Great Big Story. It's got more surprising and delightful stories just like this one. So head over to Apple Podcasts, to Spotify, wherever you get your favorite podcasts, and download Great Big Story.